Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Our streak is going to be gone. We have a sixth streak. It is going to be gone because I had a sweet run that crashed with the display driver issue. Does that make you mad? It should, because it made me mad. Look at this freaking Death's Touch little brimstone Isaac run here. We have a guppy item as well, I think, if I remember correct. No, we have the mark. Anyway, it doesn't matter. This run has gone to the ether. And it made me so mad that I did something that you would probably think is not plausible to at least work. Let's see our run here. Z82WJL88. I went into my Twitch chat because I was going to be, uh, I was supposed to be streaming around this time. But I knew that there would be delays because of the issue. And I was like, Twitch chat, let's troubleshoot this issue. You and I, the, the 400, oh, that's pretty good. The 400 of us are going to sit there together and we're going to troubleshoot. And I know what you're saying. And now, did you delete your System 32? Did you download Bonsai Buddy? Did you, you know, put your processor in the microwave or something like that? No, nothing, nothing like this. We sat there and I, you know, obviously people were joking around, some people, but a lot of people were really interested in helping. And I relayed issues to them and information to them and screenshots to them. And, you know, they crowdsourced uh, a solution basically. Now, I don't know if it's fixed. But pre- Ooh, I should not have just entered this room, but previously I was having some some serious issues with my device manager. It was like, hey, there's like 60 things in the device manager that are unspoken for right now that just do not work. Um, and I was like, that's that's not the problem, that's symptomatic of the problem. That ended up indeed being the case, but they were like, hey, why don't you like wipe your uh, motherboard drivers and reinstall them? So I did that, and now they all show up perfectly for, for the first time since we've been running this machine. So I actually, I don't know if that solved the problems, but I may owe AMD an apology if the motherboard drivers were just originally uninstalled, which is, or not installed properly, I should say, which is, by the way, the reason I haven't put AMD on blast too hard. I've mostly just been venting. I haven't yet done a tweet that was like, hey, AMD, you're costing me my business here, right? But um, I got to admit, Right now, it seems to be running... Oh, I don't know. It got a little framey there for a second. But this is still the old video card. Um, so we, we'll, we'll troubleshoot this one issue at a time. I need to go back and get those hematomesis uh, hearts. What are you doing here? Um, we'll troubleshoot this one, one issue at a time. But uh, if this video records well, I really feel like we may have done the unthinkable. Like, I feel like we may have used crowdsourcing tech support issues on the internet to actually solve a problem. And that is amazing. You know what? Thank you, Internet. You, A lot of people, they lose faith in the Internet. And uh, I can understand why. You know, there's parts of the Internet that can be terrible places. And there's people on the Internet that can be total assholes. But this is like the, the feel-good story of the millennia. If this, for me at least personally, if this video ever sees the light of day. Thanks to everybody in chat who helped. And those of you who joked, you know, it, it compromised the signal-to-noise ratio, but it kept morale high. And I appreciate that. Every court needs its jesters, and, and you have jested, my friends. You have jested, and maybe we've bested the issue, but we'll find out. Also, I did uh, take a sponge and some laundry soap to my GPU. Is that bad? I'm joking. Don't do this. Synth oil, right off the bat here. Uh, it, it's good, but uh, I'm not uh, particularly thrilled to not have any spirit hearts or bombs. But if we can just get spirit hearts or bombs older than the Bible, we should be able to get a deal with the devil, get a mom's knife, get a brimstone, reroll the rest, become guppy, get death's touch, fight Krampus, beat the game. Is you know, this is my this is my ethos. This is my MO for the start of this one. We, you, you will never get this. This is a weird one cuz Harlequin baby is like super not good enough. Uh, but neither is Mr. Boom, but Mr. Boom is weirdly kind of okay for us to take right now. We could go into that room with Hematomesis, by the way. But, uh, Mr. Boom is weirdly good enough for us right now because it may actually be as good as a Joker card. It may guarantee us access to the deal with the devil, which normally, oh, get out of here, Mr. Spider-Man. Um, normally would, would not be that valuable, but is extremely valuable for us in this first floor if we can just find a single... Tinted rock. And if we don't get a tinted rock, that's also okay. Whoa, money. Thank you very much. What we need then is to go to our shop and be able to buy a spirit heart by blowing up the donation machine. And then, of course, by having a spirit heart for sale as well. There's another bomb for us. Um, 
This may actually be doable. Now, if I don't have to buy a Spirit Heart, like, the people are probably like, why don't you buy a Spirit Heart right now, then? If I don't have to buy a Spirit Heart, I would rather not, because I could maybe then buy a Battery Charge and be able to reroll Mr. Boom again into something more usable. So, I'm kind of, um, flying too close to the sun here, if, if I'm being honest. Thank you for not being bad, Trip. Speed up actually could be really useful for us. By the way, so could Hematomesis. I just want to, I want to take out the dips first. Hematomesis could be valuable for giving us access to that, uh... Oh, no! <laughs> I flew too close to the sun! Um, well, we've probably fucked our deal with the devil chance. That's okay. Now we, now we don't have to get a spirit heart on this floor if we don't want to. We can just play it. Oh my god, we were one room away. One f freaking room away. We could still get one. It does happen. It's unlikely, though. Uh, if we put a bomb here... You think that would get the secret room? I don't think so. No, we, we never know, because the secret room might not even be there, but... Um, oh, is there another tinted rock here? Oftentimes there will be. Well, we have a reroll, so let's let's not get too despondent about this yet. I'm just happy the game hasn't crashed, you know? I, literally, it was like... Two days ago, it was like a 1 in 5 chance of crashing during a rebirth episode. Today, it was like a 1 in 5 chance of crashing per floor. So it was like a genuine nightmare. Little Steven and no deal with the devil. That's a disappointment. Uh, I'm going to reroll Little Steven. It became a speed plus range upgrade. I think that's acceptable. It's, it's better, I think, than uh, the alternative, which was not very good. And now we're very, very fast. There is a battery charge here, so I'm thinking we blow this up. And we get enough money to get that battery charge. And we'll buy this, and we'll get ready to reroll our uh, Mr. Boom. But we may want to just make sure before we do that there's no items we want to reroll in here. And it looks like there's not. We get a range upgrade, which is basically meaningless. But I wanted to do this room for the chance. Like, what if a Guppy's head showed up? Uh, I would obviously want to... Pick up Guppy's head and then re-roll that into possibly another Guppy item instead of re-rolling, you know, Mr. Boom. What's Mr. Boom got to do with it? Nothing at all. This is going to be a long fight based on the fact that we're kind of shitty right now. And this is one of the worst starts uh, of an Isaac run I've had in a while. And it's entirely because of that damage I took against those stupid, like, miniature dingles earlier. Um, but, you know, I gotta say, if it fixes the... If, if this allows us to troubleshoot our computer problems, that's the only thing that matters to me at this point is getting flipping ridiculous, but, uh, you know, that Isaac run that is lost to the sands of time was so good. I got, uh, Small Rock, Little Brimstone, and the Halo on, like, the first two floors of the game, and then my first deal with the devil was, like, Guppy's Tail, Rotten Baby, or something like that, and I was like, well, this is an easy win. Then after that, we got Death's Touch and the Mark, and then, uh, and then my display driver crashed, and I, I gave up on, on this mortal coil. Uh, we will take this, and then let's go reroll. Of course, we could use Mr. Boom to maybe look for a, um, a second secret room. I don't care that much. Big Fan is better. Obviously, because we're actually going to be able to use it. Uh, it's not substantially better, necessarily, but this, this rounds out our run pretty nicely. Obviously, our number one, number one priority right now is just going to be making sure that our deal with the devil actually, uh, you know happens on this floor, let's not take red heart damage, then it's entirely within our hands. I gotta say, without getting too cocky, you know, I'm recording this in, in 1080p, and it's, it works right now. <laughs> like, it actually, like, looks like it's running in most, close to 60 FPS, which I don't blame on, on my drivers, I actually blame on the, uh, on the fact that I'm running my old ass video card, so it might be causing it to get a, a touch framey, you know? Maybe we can slot in that, uh, that, uh, new video card, and I can send a formal apology to AMD for, uh, being a little B with a little P about their product. Turns out it might not have been their product, it might still be, but, um, you know, I mean, I am also cognizant of the fact that I'm in that situation right now where I've been troubleshooting something for, like, two days, and I'm just... Oh, okay, don't be an idiot. I'm just desperate for the problem to be solved, so I'm like, I I tilted my shoes to face the angle of the sun today. Pretty sure that's fixed it. Sorry, AMD. Turns out it wasn't your problem. I just failed to appease the sun god. This is, um, excuse me. This is the most, like, unbelievably, ag aggressively dodge-centric room I've ever fought here. There you go. That, get him stuck in that little aperture down there. 
How do we have so many golden chests as well? The key demands on this floor are absurd. Help. Okay, we'll continue moving on. I really, I need some keys. We need to get into our item room and possibly into our shop again because I'm an idiot who lost my spirit heart. But I'm your boyfriend. Yes, I am. Let's move it down. And we're safe. And do I trust myself to fight the boss? Yes, I do. It's a little scary because some bosses, uh, you know, some bosses are bigger than other bosses. But uh, we have, I'd say, probably like a 75% chance of getting through this pestilence fight without completely eating shit. The problem is that sometimes Pestilence fires these bombs that are just from another planet, you know? It, oh, big fan. There goes my hero. Watch him as he goes. Like, it, it'll fire these bombs that are just of staggering quality and require, uh, like, preternatural dodging, which is pretty much what just happened right there. Oh, my God! I, I hate you! I hate you! 75% chance my ass, but we're still in it here, and we've got a second orbital. You know what that means. I'm in full-on, like, rage orbital mode. It's all because of the, I, I took that damage that really did not need to be taken. Like, I don't blame Pestilence for that. I blame myself for taking damage on other rooms. I don't know why. Get that, get that shit off the screen. You don't get to worry about a timer, all right? You only get to worry about a timer when you play well. When you play poorly, you don't worry about that shit. That shit is out of your hands. It is non-essential. Stars card. Chaos card. I, it's weird. I mean, it's better than the stars card for one room. Probably. Uh, but long term, the stars card could have been much better. But we also could just get a key. That's another way to do it. Now, if we get a bomb, we get a key. But we, we're on the caves part one, so we don't have too many rooms left, probably. And now I'm like, well, if we just saved our fucking bomb, we could have done that. God dang it. All right. I think we're going to be fine on this room. I don't mind taking a half red heart there. I'd mind taking a hit there. But if it gives me battery charges, I will acquiesce. What the fuck? Did you just use acquiesce in a rebirth episode? What do you think this is? You, are you Henry the fucking Eighth? You're recording video games here. Get your get your vernacular right. Fart, fart, shit, poop. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Oh, 360. No, no hearts. Here we go. That's not fair. I don't want to typify gamers as a as a classless, uh, you know, group of people. It's not true. It's a, it's a wide ranging hobby that consists of, uh, you know, professionals from every uh, every avenue of life. Hey, fucking people who watch movies, they got no class, man. People who watch on silent movies, they're always like, what's up with this balderdash and haberdashery? With their modern day parlance. Okay, we made it through that room. It only took uh, 80 or 90 uh, average human lifespans there. Try to go with a different... Uh, different order of time every time if I have the opportunity to. Next time I'm thinking I'll probably try to slot in epochs if possible. Oh, there's a tinted rock. The day is saved if we can just not get hit immediately here. Let's squander our newfound spirit hearts. I'm not intentionally squandering them. I mean, I guess I am by planning to use my orbital, but I, I would rather not lose them if possible. Uh, let's head down here. This is gonna be the slowest run I've had in my entire life, and this is not gonna make it any better. Probably should not be using orbitals against Envy, but I'm all hopped up on piss and vinegar right now, and I'm... I'm ready. Yeah, let's let's make this 1920 by 1080 Isaac episode last for an hour and a half. That's, like, actually my ideal test environment to induce a crash here. So if you want it... Anything you want, you got it. Hey, anything you want, you got it. Tip your waitresses, anything at all. You go. Okay. This is awesome. Ludovico technique is one of my favorite items in the game. Uh, we are not going to be able to... We are not going to be able to get uh, a key, though. That's unfortunate. Goodbye, item room. Goodbye, uh, happiness. Hello, loneliness. I think I'm gonna cry. No, I'm not actually gonna cry. That's just like a Roy Orbison song. Uh, 
Arcade is good. Ultra Pride, we don't have a trinket, so why not? As current senatorial whip and future vice presidential candidate of the United States, Frank Underwood, I would like to pick up the left hand on behalf of myself and Claire and say thank you. Thank you, my presidential friend. Blood bag would have made me feel pretty good there, but I'm just mostly happy about the fact that we actually have some uh, extra red hearts and, and spirit hearts here. Working out and not providing me with uh, any extra avenues for stress. An extra bomb. There's nothing necessarily wrong with this. You know what? I'm feeling good. I think we got a magic mushroom chance. I got trapped in there with poop. Telepills. Our chaos card has now vacated us. Let me guess, uh, Tinted Rock on this room that I will never be able to access on this floor because I spent my bomb blowing up mushrooms instead. You know what is... If you want to buckle up for the long haul here, mister, you're lucky because I'm a freaking freighter. I am ready for long haul trucking. I played Euro Truck Sim 2 for about maybe an hour. I mean, it's not that much compared to some people, but I got a feel for it. And I am ready for the nonsense that you have lived with your whole life. I'm ready to compete with you. Is this another Telepills? It's another Hematemesis, actually. So if we can find a second secret room, this would be a good opportunity. Hey, we, we should be guaranteed to deal with the devil on this floor. Hilariously enough. And what's this? Some kind of metallic device with a series of pins on it. It looks like it may correspond to a port in which I can insert it and perhaps open the door and uh, retrieve some items of some sort. And another one, it must be my birthday is the only analysis I could realistically assume is correct here. These Larry Juniors just get shit on by uh, Ludovico for sure. Super easy. We get a range upgrade, which I do not want. Our deal with the devil contains Goathead. Non-rerollable, non-negotiable. We get the Pentagram as well. Oh, the, the fire and the fury will never be assuaged now. You will be killed. I do need a Tears upgrade though. This damage is good, but the DPS uh, leaves something to be desired. What's this? We actually, we, we pick up a, a bomb? Some kind of improvised incendiary device that I could actually use to uh, blow some stuff up. This is uh, ridiculous to me. I didn't even know that this was a device. Okay, it, my joke is that I, I don't get enough consumables on this run, so I uh, play this character of the guy who's never seen consumables before. What is this? Okay, I'm not going to continue with that, but you get the gist of it at this point. Definitely not going to be doing boss rush unless things pick up to uh, a degree that is, quite frankly, unrealistic. A tears upgrade here would feel good. I will go to that shop if I end up getting, uh, I just end up getting, uh, a shitty item on this. But I didn't get a shitty item on this, I got a pretty good item on this. Let's go check. I think it's like right here. Yeah, that found it at least. Three bombs. We're set up nicely. Okay. This is a run that's still winnable in spite of my own idiocy. So let's uh oh go to our secret room and then pop hematemesis and then the dream is very real, my friends, but not on this floor, on the next floor. This is what we got these bombs for. Okay. Let's do it. Death's touch, no fire mine. Death's touch, no fire mine. I'm ready. Necropolis one. That's tempting, actually. I'm not scared of these rooms anymore. Yeah, you better run in the other direction and make my life substantially easier. I wish I could have gotten you next to that. But I couldn't. One of those skulls could be somewhat meaningful for us. I feel like, a, not only am I like distracted and exhausted from these computer problems and my commentary is like, uh, 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 but also like, I have to control Ludovico technique with the one half of my brain, and then move with the other half of my brain, and then, you know, there's another half of my brain that has to be used for commentary. That's three halves, and I only have two and a half halves. That's one half too many. One half half too many. Maybe I didn't have enough half and a half this morning. I had one too many black and tans. It's not, I don't, I don't drink black and tan. I don't even know what a black and tan is. I believe that is a... Is it a lager mixed with a stout? Is that correct? Knock two of those three Chumbawumbos out in uh, in one drink, huh? Out of the kids these days. 
The only drink that I consume on a regular basis is paint thinner and Red Bull. The paint thinner brings you down and the Red Bull brings you right back up. And, mm, unless you drink it and then you die. Please do not drink that. If you drink that, someone's going to try to sue me. That's a very selfish action. So, this is my disclaimer. Everything I say is uh, intended as uh, a jest. Oh, rubber cement. I just picked it up kind of on... Uh, on, like, instinct, because I like it quite a lot, but then I'm realizing that it probably does nothing for us here. And you know what? Whoa! That is alright. Um, I can live with it doing nothing for us as long as it doesn't completely fuck us. Feels like everything related to this computer has been trying to fuck us lately. So, uh, just something being like, hey, I'm here. I made your tier look slightly different. That's like, hey, that's reassuring. That was my own fault, 100%. Should not have placed the bomb first. Hematomesis also will not work here, but will not work for what we need. Lemon party. Two health upgrades. Amnesia, not so bad. This is getting good. What do we have in here? Dirty Jr. I will probably be hit here. These ugh, motherfuckers are so mobile, they're like track three off of who's next. What, is it is it track three? I don't want to be outed as the, the poser I always have feared that I am. Um, I think it goes uh, Baba O'Reilly, aka Teenage Wasteland, followed by Love Ain't for Keeping, followed by Going Mobile. But I, it's been a while since, you know, 1972, so I don't remember. One almost died. My shot's beat! My shot speed! Oh my god, one Gertie precluded the other. One Gertie precluded the other! Help, 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 help. Help. Oh, oh, stop. Oh, I can't breathe. Ow, 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 ow. How are you not dead? One of you should be dead! Help. Okay, have we done it? Oh! Oh, he spooked me. We did it. I can't believe we got through that. And we were rewarded with the deal with the devil we so rightfully deserve. You know what? We got two health upgrades, so I'm just going to take it. And I'll head down to the next floor. I know we have a reroll ready, but I think this might be helpful considering I have Ludovico. Probably don't want to trash our uh, Red Heart uh, deal with the devil possibility just to pick up whatever's in that curse room. It could be worth it. Could also, like, super not be worth it. What if this is a secret room? You can't actually check. This is not the secret room? Oh, come on, Spelunker's hat. You're fucking with me, right? That's the secret room. I refuse to believe that that is not our secret room. Yeah, and that, that room single-handedly has made me happy to have gotten Headless Baby. I'm thinking we're starting to pull ourselves out of this, out of this mess. Oh, we got Goat Head. Of course we're going to get deals with the devil. So we should totally sacrifice uh, our Red Heart to that curse room as long as we think that we can survive and I, I think we can survive okay we can also use hematomesis for more HP if we have to it's not the way I'd like to use it but it, it is functional we get one guppy item it's a start we're building something and the run is not crashed yet <laughs> which is another another glorious piece of news if I'm being honest with you oh that's bad damage Okay, I I think I may use hematomesis just to survive, unless. Okay, that scared the shit out of me. Let's let's be smart. Yeah, use hematomesis. I'm very glad we did. I'm very glad we did. So glad that I did temporarily become Michael Caine. Yes. Thank you, left hand. Much appreciate all these bombs you're giving me. Oh yeah, I forgot about that guy. Kind of a tricky one himself, isn't he? Okay. That's alright. Just don't die. Wow! Okay, we're still alive. Probably. Ah, but. Oh, 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 oh. Scary. No extra hearts at the end. I was thinking, like, probably go to the arcade, but, like. What am I hoping to glean from the arcade? I guess play the slot machines and make money. Right, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Oh, yeah, Blue Baby's only friend. If I can get these guys in sync with one another, this is uh, an amount of damage that is incalculable. 
It, I mean, it's like, it's a, just a lot. It's not incalculable. There's probably like a function in the game that just does it. Oh, there we go. Two spirit hearts. All is forgiven. Probably not gonna die then. That's reassuring. And they do move at slightly different speeds, so that's unfortunate. Oh yeah, we'll take the map for sure. And I'm I'm really thankful that the game has actually been quite nice. I bought the spirit heart because I'm an idiot. Uh, I'm really thankful that the game has been quite nice and has decided to mostly give me ways to bail myself out of my own idiocy. Uh, like left hand chaining into Guppy would really do that, but mostly it's been like, you know what, you're having a tough day. You're playing like shit. Here's some items that'll help you out, and I, I appreciate it. Now we got this like weird ass double tracer tier that I love. What do we have going on in here? Mom fight. All right, so we will not be buying the map. Didn't realize we were that far in yet. My mistake. Help. Can I get? I'm trying to get these guys to sync up with one another. It's surprisingly difficult. There we go. They're close. They're close enough. That's another hit that I should not have taken. But too many halves of the brain functioning simultaneously right now. There we go, they were stacked. Got big fan to do a little damage. Get him, get ah! Uh, surprisingly tough on the old noggin here. Turning my noodle into spaghetti. Oh my god, at least it's only a half heart here to start with. And we're definitely getting a deal with the devil. Give me nine lives. Nine lives and I'll be all right. Got the Polaroid, obviously. Krampus fight, uh, it's okay, just, we're gonna be re-rolling it no matter what. Could still be nine lives, that's the damage I'm looking for. Oh, what? <laughs> we got it! That was very unexpected, okay, so we have nine lives. Now it's time for me to put my money where my mouth is. On your dad's dick. Wait, what? Okay. Now, we're good, um, we're, we're, we're living. You know, it's like that quote from uh, Garden State. I was going to say Dark Souls. Two very different pieces of media. Well, then Zach Braff goes to the neurologist, and the neurologist is like, You okay? And then Zach Braff's like, I'm suffering from existential in new age right now. And then um, the neurologist goes, Yeah, you're okay. You're alive. And then I'm like, Man, someone take away that guy's medical license. I'm, I spent like fifteen hundred dollars to go to this neurologist, and he's he's speaking to me in vague platitudes about you know what it means to be human. Take that shit to some fucking you know internet message board or something, Doc. I'm here for your expert knowledge on neurons, not your your thoughts on life, the universe, and everything. This is I mean the spirit arts we've gotten here got me feeling pretty good. Run for your life. Oh jeez, okay. No, we're fine. Just continue to bait them into all going to the same side. And that's when we strike like a cobra. Honey, everything's coming up cobras. That's uh You ever see guys and guys and snakes? Guys and snakes. We're just a bunch of crazy guys and snakes. It's it's a good it's a good one. I would recommend it. Frank Snake Atra's in it. Um I forget who else, because I've never seen Guys and Dolls, the production, nor the, the Hollywood film based on the production. Okay, we're good. Stay still. Stay stay still. Our rate of fire still kind of sucks, but we got this workability now. I can't believe we're probably going to be salvaged on this run. We so do not deserve it. <laughs> There are so many runs where I've played better than this and lost due to shitty RNG. The fact that this one could turn out to be a, a fairly easy win is hilarious and not disappointing, but just hilarious, I guess. Yeah, so I I copped out. I took the easy way out there a little bit. Um, instead of trying to reroll into a guppy item, I just took the passive ability to fly. My reasoning largely being that uh, with the ability to fly, it makes it so much less likely that I take hits while I'm navigating this stupid, uh, and by stupid I mean incredibly amazing and the only reason I'm surviving, um, combination of, of Blue Baby's only friend and uh, Ludovico technique here. So the ability to fly and, and have that extra maneuverability helps me out a ton. Would have would have made that Gertie Jr. that double Gertie Jr. fight tribu uh, trivial, but instead uh, we did it the hard way. And mm, two pills, huh? Health up, absolutely will take. Puberty, uh, not bad. 
We will leave, because there is nothing there for us. Unfortunately, but the health uphill is fine, and we'll take that half spirit heart. Yes, you know, one HP is debatably pretty terrible, but the idea is maybe we get a Joker card, we can trade it away later anyway, or, you know, a red chest with Guppy's Paw, or maybe raw survivability ends up being more important than invincibility for us, because I don't want to use our orbitals for damage. Mostly, I'm, I'm playing on, like, Nora, there is a... There is a tinted rock there, but I'm playing on like Northern Lions 2011 drivers here. Like I'm playing some old school Isaac and just uh, trying to survive long enough to win rather than, you know, really make the game my quote unquote bitch. This is exactly why I wanted the ability to fly. And, uh, pardon me, good sir? It appears to me that you have hit me despite the fact that I was standing over top of a rock. I would like to uh, call the attention of your uh, of yourself to the Geneva Convention, where it says uh, in Article 6.9, if you hit someone when they're over a rock, that shall hereby be deemed as absolute fucking horseshit. Ah, oh, daddy, daddy! I d 100 in our whole run. What in the world is this? It's like freaking anti-grav number one, death's touch. Uh, Lots of HP. I'm assuming our damage can't be that bad. Because we have Death's Touch, but... Not sure it's that good either, because our range literally... Like, only allows us to move the tiers like a quarter inch away from me at any given time. Northern Line, I thought you were Canadian. Why are you using the uh, Imperial system when the metric system is demonstrably better for everything except stubbornness? Um, you know, I, I, I Americanize myself. Uh, it's... It's a little sad, maybe, but, you know, to, to market yourself to an American audience, I've, I've uh, taken extensive classes to get rid of my Canadian accent. I can convert, uh, oh, I thought I had permanent polar invincibility. That was stupid. I, I can convert uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius and vice versa in my head. I uh, know the names of all the NFL teams and, and the divisions they play in. I know the reason why there's a National League and an American League in baseball. Even though it's fucking stupid that the New York Mets from New York City can end up playing the Los Angeles Dodgers in the playoffs. What is this, like a fucking five-hour flight each way? It's ridiculous. It's, we have some sympathy. Holy Christ. Now. I know the universe works mentally and spiritually. No, I'm not, we don't have to go too deep into the Kendrick Lamar references necessarily. Empress is not the EMP I wanted. But it is uh, something... We're definitely re-rolling this whole round, by the way. This this is interesting, but incredibly frustrating. I appreciate the infamy. And I appreciate the death's touch, but it's it's kind of shitty. Because we have no range. With range, I think this would still be kind of shitty. Because mostly I'm just like, dropping shots right in front of me and hoping the enemies walk into them. And it's not killing them fast enough for me to be stoked about it. That is not a guppy item. This is not a guppy item, but I'm going to take it. That is also not a guppy item. That doesn't matter to me. I guess I should... Oh, this is weird. Okay, I'm going to re-roll it. Because if I take it and then re-roll, it'll just get re-rolled anyway. I might as well try to re-roll it into a guppy item. It re-rolled into the fucking Bible. What is this? This is Strange Attractor and some of the slowest, shittiest tears I've ever seen. Rotten Baby is also holding. What are you holding? It's You're holding the cat head? What is this? We have Pyro. Our bombs don't look special, though. Oh, no. This... Sorry. We're, we'll, we'll be leaving. Is there Oh, there is shit on this room. Okay. For the next six rooms, our bombs are our best friend. We will be using them to do everything. They slice, they dice, they make julienne fries. They slice, they dice, they resurrected the career of Juliana Margulies. Uh, our, <laughs> that's gonna give you a deceptively positive picture of how this run looks right now. Pretty as a picture. No, it's, uh... We have, uh... We have shit damage. Our shots are so small. What is what is the smallness of these shots created by? I don't understand. It's not like mini mush. Like it's dark matter, like strange attractor or something. 
Our flies don't do that badly, but mostly it's like if we get a shot that lands with our teeth, we're doing okay. If we don't, it's a little touch and go. We're halfway to never having to see this run again. Probably like literally ever. As a result of the unique and mer mercurial properties of the D100. Perfect. You will be dead. Yeah, let's do big rooms. I love big rooms. They're my favorite forever. Yeah, we got Dark Bomb. I don't care. Give me a Spirit Art. Don't give me a Spirit Art. See if I give two fucks in a fuckery about that. I'm mostly stoked that it's a 31 minute run and everything seems to be handled. Like, my, my computer is handling its shit right now. Is this possible? That we have no Monsieur Ver and no, uh... No, uh, computer just straight up crashes like a little bee with a big P? Nothing so far. Can't really, like, fly when, you know, every time we touch a, a rock it just dies. I mean, we can fly. It does, just doesn't really benefit us that much, I guess. Alright, one room away. That was actually pretty good play. Now we just need pretty good kid and we can make a pretty good house party, right? Uh, kid, kid and play. They were rappers. They were in house. Boo! Get off the stage, Grandpa! Okay, what do we got? Ah, I like this. Okay, we got something. Rate of fire. Cricket's body. Regular bombs, but a lot of them. Bob had a baby, it's a boy. Help. I still think this run kind of sucks, though. <laughs> like, still maybe like a little suboptimal, but definitely winnable now. We'll still reroll this, because I'm, I'm a wild dude who doesn't give a shit. Because I'm an Isaac killer and a motherfucking handful. Oh, I've got bloody lust as well, okay. Well, that, that surely uh, makes things a little bit more interesting, because there actually is the damage potential to to love this run, not just endure it. But I still think I'm going to reroll, just because we got the D100, and it's a pretty good, you know, microcosm of my whole week, the D100, that is. So, yeah, sure, why not uh, Why not go for, go for broke with this bad boy right here? I don't mind. He'll be dead any second now. We'll open our items, and I, I don't remember, if we want them, then we leave them, and then pick them up later. Unless they're so good that they make us not want to reroll the run we're already on. Which might be the case, I don't know. I'm just the vessel for which this troll engine pours itself into right now. Yes, I kept the left hand. Did I do so intentionally? Uh, no, but I will act like I did, so as to pretend that I didn't make a mistake, okay? Also, I would have loved to have gotten the guppy item there, which is why I'm keeping the left hand now. I'm saying fuck it. You know, if you if you make that mistake one way, you should just keep it going. Keep keep the uh, left hand all the way. Try to make that guppy dream come true. We're going to reroll, like, right on the boss fight. And that scares the shit out of me, but also makes me feel very excited, you know? Maybe this is what the neurologist in Dark Souls was... <laughs> I told you, it wasn't my brain, man! I mean, it was my brain, but I didn't make it up. My brain is getting Garden State and Dark Souls confused. Garden State and Dark Souls get confused. Blame it on Miyazaki or blame it on the booze. I got the Garden State and Dark Souls boozy blues. It's itself. Uh, you know, I say not every joke can be a winner. Not every not every video can be a winner either. Hi, oh, yes, our secret. Yes, okay. What do we got? What do we got? Ooh, hey, fantastic! Elucidate's playing Nuclear Throne. Oh, fantastic! What a great day to be you, Elucidate. What a fantastic game. You gonna make a platinum god for that? Freaking nuclear god? Roasted you. All right. Well, we might as well reroll these two things to try to reroll them into something else. We have no damage. Well, no, it's because we have chocolate milk and I was tap shooting. Okay. Damage sucks. Abandoned ship. Abandoned ship. Oh, we got invincibility from like Virgo though. Oh my god, we got Taurus too. This is fucking, this is awful. This, we got the soul. Oh good. Remember when we could actually do damage though? Those were the days. Oh man, I can't believe we're gonna win this run easily, in spite of all the problems we faced. 
We're halfway done. Like, I can't be killed. Probably regret that, those words at some point. This is a- you know why this run is shit is because I fucked up so many deals with the devil. We don't have good items to re-roll from. We got, like, no pool to re-roll into, or very limited subset to re-roll into, I should say. Oh, my flippin' Lanta land the shots here. Holy crow. Hurt me? Like, I want to push the bullets back so they hurt you. Oh, my biggest damage deal is the Lord of the Flies. Oh, uh, he did the Ultra Lux last night. Uh, said this tastes funny, and it uh, turns out uh, we ate a clown. I ate a person. hi oh, this run's over. The, the, the PC did not crash. Is the dream real? I don't know. But it, we're alive for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. I've said a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.